Hello my friends, I am Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we're gonna talk about early fall decorating. We are at the end of summer. We are ready to transition into some autumn decor. However, we may not be ready for pumpkins. So today we're gonna talk about how to stretch your summer decor into the fall months. We're gonna talk about some ways to get the fall look without really overtly fall decor. And I'm gonna share some tips and tricks for what to look for and what to bring into your home for autumn decorating that's not pumpkins. All right, let's talk about textiles. Number one, I love to change out textiles for the seasons. It's extremely simple and very affordable, especially if you're just swapping out one or two little items but I want to show you what a change in color and texture can do for a space. So we obviously have a pile of blankets here. These are my summer blankets. They're all very lightweight. They're very gauzy and not gaudy. They're gauzy and they're summery colors. So we have a pink, we have lots of creams and whites. We have a little bit of a blue undertone in here and these light pastel colors really kind of scream spring and summer. So we're gonna do a quick swap and I'm gonna show you how easily this changes from a summery feel to a fall. Some of these things are staying. This is overtly summery to me. Out it goes. Ooh, surprise. <laughs> Didn't even know that one was in there. Now this bottom blanket is an extremely nubby texture. It has high texture. It also has high texture with the fringe. So. That one's a beauty for our texture that we want. The extreme nubbiness has a lot of cozy element to it. And then on top, an overtly fall plaid blanket. You see plaid, you think fall. It is just what our culture has trained us to do. And so I do love adding in a little bit of plaid, including just the dark color, because darker, more moody colors feel more appropriate for the autumn season. And then I'm gonna add in this pattern blanket, it has an olive green tone to it, which is a great color for fall. But what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna leave that one on top. We'll come back to that one. I'm gonna add this blanket back in. Now you can see we have a cream, we have brown with creams, we have black, and then we have another cream. And what this is accomplishing is bringing the entire stack together in kind of a cohesive feel because they're all of a similar color palette. But for fall, we do wanna break that up and add in some more fall color. Now this hue is very moody and it feels like fall. So we're gonna pop this one up to break up what we have created a pattern of so that it's not all just neutrals. And then I don't know, I don't like that one because it has orange. It's going to be out later. Now we're gonna add this guy on top with that high fringe on the edge. But I actually wanna see more of my color here. So I'm gonna tuck some of that fringe underneath. It's a little too fringy. There we go. Okay, so now I can still see the olive green. I've got the texture. I've got the interest on top. I'll show you from a top view. So this was a really quick switch just to bring out the more fall appearing blankets instead of the more summery staples that we have with lightweight and different color blankets over here. And I didn't purchase any of these new this year. Of course, if you don't have fall tone blankets as far as color or texture goes, you would have to purchase them. But once you purchase them, as long as you're doing a high quality blanket, then they'll last you for years and you do not have to buy new every year. I'll link up all the sources from today's video in the description for you. And guess what? All these just get stored right there in the basket. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is that while they do look like decor, they're actually fully used every single day. So a family member can easily come, grab it off the top of the stack, use the blanket when they're done, fold it back up and put it back in. Now, you know that fall has arrived in Michigan when I have to turn the lights on inside to film. It is a very dreary day. And so we're gonna turn the lights on even though it casts these awkward shadows. So let's take a look now at how 
pillows can transform the look. We have two very summery pillows, a very light linen. Linen is a very lightweight fabric and it feels very summery. And then over here, we have kind of a floral pattern, which also feels fairly summery, though there are florals that are part of fall decor as well. So we're gonna take this look and swap it out very quickly. Let's take a look at a leather option. Leather is a beautiful fabric. Fabric? It's not a fabric. <laughs> Skin. Ooh. Leather is a beautiful choice for a pillow cover in the fall because Look how pretty it is. But I do love the look of a leather pillow. It brings in those dark brown tones and it has a different kind of texture than your traditional pillow. On the other hand, we can also do feather. Some really nice, deep, moody colors. This one has almost a little bit of a jewel tone to it, though it's not quite that saturated and the darker color just brings in more of a moody vibe. I don't like the way they look together because they're both powerful. They are both statement makers, so you need to have a combination of one pillow that is kind of like the bold choice and one pillow that kind of tones down things a little bit. So choose your statement maker. I'm gonna go with that one today. And then you can swap out an alternative pillow. Whoa, that one is gigantic. <laughs> we need another, we need another one. Here's another one that you can use that actually tones it down quite a bit because it's a neutral color. It has a lot of nubby texture on it, which is great for fall, but they're not competing. Now this pillow is a great example of multiple things that I look for in textiles that I want to use to bring into my fall decor. Number one, it has all these different textures to it. So it's obviously kind of fringy here. The fabric is very nubby, but also it is a very heavy weight fabric. So things like linen and cotton feel very summery. They're lightweight. They're comfortable for hot climates. But when you transition to something that has a thicker weight fabric, it feels more cozy and it feels more like fall. This pillow worked in summer because of the neutral color, but it actually works best in the colder months because of the texture that it brings. I love that it's neutral, so you can pair it with a bunch of statement makers and they all work really nicely together. I'm gonna take a minute and show you a few combinations of pillows that you can put together for an early fall look. They are not overtly fall, they can kind of transition from late summer into early fall, but then this kind of a grouping makes it very easy to toss in overtly fall pillows when you're ready for it. So all of them start with a base, with a large tweed pillow that is brown, but not a dark brown. So it kind of sets the stage. And then we're gonna use the combination of statement makers and neutrals. And I'm gonna show you several different pairings and how you can kind of incorporate a different look depending on the pillow colors that you have. The main key to these kinds of groupings is that your base, which is the biggest pillow in the back, this one's a 22 by 22, is neutral and plain enough that no matter what you pair with it, it's not too busy and it's not overwhelming. So this has some texture to it, has a little bit of a variety, but it is very plain and boring <laughs> on its own. And that's the whole point, that if you're gonna have something plain and boring, then you can easily add a statement maker. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna talk about is fall foliage. If you saw my coffee table styling video, I will pop it up here for you. Then you did see already this plum eucalyptus. I love it. It's dried. It is beautiful, moody fall colors. And it's extremely simple to just make a statement. It can go on a coffee table, on a console table, behind your sofa, on a mantle, on shelves, on your kitchen island, on your kitchen shelves, on your basement. It can go anywhere. Foliage can go anywhere, and that is what I love about it so much. So, you can choose to do something that is dried, or you can choose to do something like this that is actually faux and is just a cute little statement piece. Or 
You can also choose to try your own. So this is actually from my yard. It was dappled willow branches and it is dried. I just dried them in the sun. It shriveled them slightly, but it gives it kind of like a creepy Halloween-ish look, which is great for that season. Or let me show you another option. My favorite. Isn't it pretty? Wait till you see. Now watch how easy this is. Obviously the entryway is very plain right now. I had some eucalyptus in this basket. It sunk, I never changed it. It was like that the entire summer. These are limelight hydrangeas and all I've done is put them in a basket and we're gonna pop them right up here. And now we gotta cut that baby off, but look, so simple. And if you want a little extra pizzazz, you can always add a pillow, like so, that looks cute. Or you can do a lower pillow, like so. That one's not super fallish, but it's a little fallish. It works well for our transition into fall. Or you can even double it up if you have a big enough bench, which this one, she is not. But you get the idea. So I had this idea. <laughs> We pruned some trees and they had these beautiful berries and I wanted to dry them. So I stuck them in a trash can and they've been sitting on my front porch for about five days. Let's see if my vision worked. All right, I know, I know that this is impractical. Like, you know, no one wants to work around a tree in their kitchen. <laughs> but. There is something to be said for doing impractical things sometimes and just creating something that brings you joy and lets you get some creativity out and also can be a beautiful statement that I can pick up and move. So while I love the way that it looks in the kitchen, if I were entertaining or if it was some fancy event or if I just wanted to take a pretty picture for the blog and give some ideas for how to make free decor and I'm ready to move it, I can move it. Okay, I can move it. So, so far we've talked about a few things. We've talked about textiles, we've talked about colors, we've talked about texture, we've talked about foliage. Now I wanna talk about wall decor. So art is the very simple way of swapping out your seasonal decorating. Previously I had a very summery looking scene up here and I swapped it out for this DIY poster art that I created last year. I will link the instructions for you. This is just a purchase print that I had printed and then used the poster um, frame for. Remember the tray tip from my last video? Works for all tables. She's pretty, but just wait. I think this is gonna be the final resting spot. She's up, she's out of the way, final resting place. Now, one thing that I do enjoy, we're gonna use this even though I don't like the colors for right now. This is a more overtly fall piece, but it's what I have on hand. What I do enjoy doing is a blanket right here, serves as a bit of wall decor while at the same time being like the most convenient way of storing blankets that you use every day. So you wanna use it, you sit down on the couch, you use it, you're done. You don't even have to fold it back up and it's pretty. I think that's a win-win. And there you have it. It is very simple to transition your home from summer to fall with a few small tweaks. You can bring in texture through your textiles. Maybe it's pillows, maybe it's blankets, maybe it's your area rug. It just depends on what you have a need for. You can also swap out your foliage, bring in some fall colors through your foliage, whether it's a live plant, dried, or something that you've just grabbed from your yard. And you could swap out your artwork or your wall decor for something that is more of a fall mood. Changing out your decor from summer to fall does not have to be complicated. One of the reasons that it's so easy for me to do is that I have curated a collection of items that work through every season. Most of my pillows will work through every season. 
most of my blankets will work through every season. And then I have very sparingly collected items that are season specific that I can mash together with my non-season items. And that way I'm not reproducing new decor for every season. I'm using a base across the entire year and then I'm adding a few touches here and there of whatever season I'm decorating for. I hope that you found this video helpful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I'm gonna have a lot more fall decor videos coming at you. We're gonna head into the dining room next and we are going to do some elegant fall looks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.